This weekend, creativity on display, beautiful home and community gardens, and public green space. Garden Walk Cleveland is back, featuring more than 400 gardens this year. Terry Nemens and Sherry Rose, or Sharon Rose, are here to share more about this exciting event. And you guys have been doing this for a while. Now, how'd you get started, and how long have you been doing this? Well, I think Garden Walk has been going on for about 11 years. Um, it started, I think, uh, people noticed that Buffalo had a really nice Garden Walk, and they went and researched it and started it up. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. And, you know, we noticed here from the, uh, the car that we have here that a lot of neighborhoods are featured all over the place. Why don't you tell us some of those neighborhoods we and why? both east and west. We have currently six on the east side and five on the west side this year. And they are growing because we've added additional two neighborhoods this year. So as people come out, talk to different people throughout the neighborhoods, they want to join in. And we actually have a couple more all set up for next year. <laughs> but this year we have Fairfax, Glenville, Ohio City, Old Brooklyn, Tremont, West Park, Broadway, Slavic Village, Collinwood, Detroit, Shoreway, Little Italy, and we cannot forget Clifton Vaulted. Last but I'm not representing least. Glenville. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I thought it was interesting. You guys said that uh, people can go on this tour, and it's not just enjoyment, but actually you can get inspiration. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really a fun tour because gardeners like to talk about plants. You know, and it gives you a really good opportunity to talk to people about plants and they get, they, they learn things, they get different inspiration for what they want to do for their yard. Some of the gardens are like really beautiful, you know, um, so it's just a, it's just a really fun event and we all are very excited about it. Yeah, I know it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's what, 10 to 5 each day, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, and there are even some activities, like there's a uh, councilman Slife is doing, she, his yard is next to mine, and he's doing a children's activity. They're doing pots and starting vegetables and stuff. So there's other activities, too, that people can look up on. The, it's on the GardenWalkCleveland.org website, or you can, here's the Garden Walk guide. You can get this at the information stations, yeah. um, different garden centers, so... Excellent. Yeah, and how does this all work? Like, how do you get from the neighborhoods to the neighborhoods? Is it all self-guided? or self-guided. Actually, most people walk, believe it or not. I had someone last year, they had walked a total of about 10 miles <laughs> from where they started instead of, you know, some people will drive to each area, but some people, they walk the whole area, and the culture garden was part of Glenville, so they walked the entire culture garden, went to the greenhouse, and then started with all the mm. homes in Glenville, and we had 21. So that's a lot of exercise <laughs> from 10 to 5 on the day. But it was a beautiful day. They were out. They enjoyed flowers. And we enjoy telling them about our flowers. Yeah, and that's actually a good point is that you go to these neighborhoods and it's not just one home you're looking at. But no. these, these neighborhoods are going all out for this event. Yeah, there, there are a lot of uh, houses on the same street or in the same vicinity. And it's kind of interesting. All the architecture is different, too, just with the houses and just what people have done with their yards. It's just a lot of inspiration. Absolutely. And then there's a garden finder. What's your role as a garden finder? <laughs> I am a garden finder. And what I do <laughs> every year as spring comes along and flowers begin to bloom, I look at the different yards and how many flowers they have. And I'll leave a card or a knock on the door. And one of the things I do is I take packs of flower seeds. And I talk to the people to see if they would be interested in becoming part of Glenville's Garden Walk. Oh, like not Johnny Appleseed, but like Joni Garden. Seed, that's right. <laughs> Joni Garden Fest, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. excellent. And what, is it, what does this mean to you? I mean, this is, a, you know, again, it's, it seems like uh, there's a, as a tour and you're going to places, but it seems like it might even just transcend just looking at gardens and things. It, 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 it has a greater meaning. Oh, I, we all love gardening. I mean, gardening is good for your mental health. I mean, it's just, it just makes you feel at peace. You know, um, and it's a chance to share with other people. I share my plants. You know, we all sh we share Definitely. plants and things like that. So it's just um, it's it's great. What are what's your highlights in the uh, the Glenville area? That's where that's where you're from. Glenville is bringing it back to that village. I like that it brings the community together. When you walk down the street, you stop yeah. and see flowers, so you stop mm -hmm. and talk to that person where normally is someone you might not talk to. And I even had one day teenagers. I was <laughs> shocked that stopped and they said. Oh, ma'am, your flowers are really pretty. And I was thinking, ma'am, but okay. Yes, thank <laughs> you very much. So yeah, so it gives me that opportunity to stop and talk to other people and get to know my neighbors and people in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You stop, you stop by Superman's house? 
Uh, always, right there on the corner. <laughs> you got some pretty flowers, by the way. <laughs> and you represent, uh, you West are in, in the West, West Park, Park area. Yeah, real quick, tell, uh, tell me a little about some of the highlights in West Park. Um, well, we have, uh, it's an interesting neighborhood. It's a, you know, there's a lot of interesting architecture. There are a lot of beautiful gardens and good restaurants. Um, farmer's Market. Um, it's, it's very, uh, there's a lot of young families and um, trying to get more people interested in gardening. Where can we find the information about all this? I think you mentioned it before, but we need to make sure people find out where to get all the information about this event. Well, they can go to, um, on the web, clevelandgardenwalk.org, and they can pick up, they can download the, the, the map, but there are maps in the um, info guide. Yep, and there you go. Yeah. So you get all the yeah. different uh, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 5. It's free. GardenWalkCleveland.org. It sounds like a great event. Facebook. Oh, Facebook, right. Instagram. Oh, my God. You got all these uh, extra yeah. things there, but that's yeah. great. And it's going to be it's going to be a phenomenal event, we know. And uh, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. But hopefully everybody yeah. go, comes out, listens to you guys, and goes out and does a garden walk. Thank, Thank you. So. Thanks for having <laughs> us. Yeah. Thank Absolutely. You. Now.